Moving on from that one, I quickly want to mention this because I just saw this on my timeline and I thought it was rather interesting, right? This is regarding the one and only streamer called Destiny and his um, wife are now basically being separated. They're going through a divorce. And why this is interesting is because he was the first kind of person that I re realized that I kind of saw from the streaming community who was really big on polyamory and having an open relationship and stuff and obviously a relationship at one point but then it turned into a marriage and I know Adam 22 has the same type of thing but not really because Adam 22 and Leonard the plug they don't really have an open relationship they kind of just fuck girls on camera for plug talk really it's not as if like lena goes out on dates with other guys and so does adam so it's a bit different right but the first kind of polyamory type of thing open relationship thing i saw online with streamers was definitely with destiny and i always found it very interesting because off off the cuff off the cuff when i first saw destiny because i remember when i kind of stumbled on destiny's content his political stuff and whatnot he does he does really good streams he goes for a long time he's definitely and i kind of i'd say someone that i look to him for a little bit of inspiration because he's someone like me who just sits on a stream on online by himself just ranting into the microphone which is a whole different skill than interviewing people so i kind of look to him to see what he kind of does and he does it really really well but i remember looking at him the first few times i saw him and i instantly for, for what again it's no judgment on him but i just assumed he was gay I never even knew that he was straight in the first place, right? I just assumed he was gay. And then obviously, over time, you find out oh, that he is, kind of, he is, he, he basically identifies as bi. But I always thought that was an interesting um, sort of thing in him personality wise. And also the fact that he kind of, for lack of a better term, he has this weird incel energy anyway. So I thought the whole polyamory thing was a strange thing to go down because he seemed like a guy that didn't have a lot of experience with women. He also seemed like somebody that was struggling with his own sexuality. So you would think hooking up with a woman who maybe is a little bit more mature than you, has a little bit more experience than you, um, has seen more things. It's a bit of an uneven way to enter into a polyamorous relationship. And again, this is coming from someone like me who has no idea how I would handle that sort of relationship if it ever came across my table. I had no idea how to deal with it, what the right way to go about it is, because I'm, I'm, I'm not somebody who would say that the polyamory thing doesn't work. I think it can work for some people, for sure. I think there is always somebody, there's always somebody out there for you. Whatever your kink, whatever your personality tra trait is, whatever your interests, whatever your hobbies, there's always somebody out there that's going to, that can cater, that can amplify, that can care for, that can nurture, that can, you know, signal boost, whatever you're into and be the perfect, you know, yin to your yang or yang to your yin, whatever it may be, right? I'm sure that they exist. But I just think sometimes you have to always give yourself the best, best best possible chances of success and i just think you can't get into polyamory if you're somebody that doesn't have experience with people in general let alone relationships plus relationships plus sexually and maybe career-wise you're not in the right place it just doesn't seem like the right thing to go in like i I wouldn't probably go down the polyamory route if I was trying to find myself, you know? That probably isn't the right way to go. I'd probably try and mature up a bit. I'd probably go down my whole phase, whatever it may be. And then as you mature and you realize what you like and what you don't like, maybe you decide what route to go down. But I always found how he started off it to be a bit weird, you know? That's what I always found. I found the, the starting off point to be a bit strange. That's just my personal observation. So when I heard he got divorced or he's going through a divorce, it was really kind of sad to see obviously because divorces are bad but it was also kind of funny because he was also somebody that was kind of ragging on people and kind of dunking on them because he felt like his relationship was somewhat a success like i'm four years married we're in an open relationship everything is good i'm not a cuck blah 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 and it's like the cuck thing should shouldn't be the most offensive thing the most authentic the most offensive or weird thing i always thought was more so the fact that i heard a lot more about his wife um, what's her name Melinda right I heard a lot more about his wife Melina sorry going out and having a relationship with other dudes as I did more so than I did with Destiny whether it was dudes or women I heard more of her going out there and kind of getting her shit in than Destiny so I always thought it was a little bit oddly imbalanced in that she clearly enjoyed the fact that they were in a relationship and made the most out of it but Destiny probably didn't now does that mean he was maybe catching more feelings and does that mean that maybe he wasn't maybe that happy with it or what he did is probably what more, pe what more people probably do in relationships. He loved her so much. He was willing to put up with whatever, which is what happens naturally, right? Relationships, like you love somebody so much, you're willing to do whatever it takes to kind of be in relationship with them. So that's probably what kind of led to the demise of it. But it's interesting to kind of watch people's observation from afar because it feels like on social media, 
I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I feel like social media people are really conservative, isn't it, when it comes to relationships, especially on Twitter or on social or just on feed. People are very conservative. They're very like they can't wrap their head around people who have a, an alternative way of like viewing relationships or marriages and shit. They just can't. It's just not something they can kind of wrangle in their brain it just kind of breaks their brain which i'm not sure if that's like a red pill thing if that's just people being super conservative or being really really um what would you say being really prudish i'm not too sure if it's just people calling out fuck shit i don't know what it is but i find people's inability to kind of grasp that there are some people out there that enjoy having these sort of relationships um and they do it and it works well i can't really understand why people don't understand why some people like it it's a strange thing to see online but again maybe i'm looking at a small sample size anyway let's check out the article courtesy of sports Keda. it says as follows screenshots of an alleged messages from political live streamer steven destiny have emerged on social media amid speculation from viewers about his strained relationship with his wife and swedish internet personality melina Goranson. The two have been in an open relationship for many years now, but recently leaked Discord messages have viewers speculating about their marriage. Destiny himself has been talking about re revealing some vital information about his personal life for a while now, and many viewers thought it would be the love life. The surfacing of the alleged messages has drawn further speculation of the fans. You know what's really kind of sad about it though? He knows if he actually comes out and speaks about it on his stream, for the first time he's going to get absolutely people are going to dunk on him so hard because of how smug um because of how cocky and shit he was by his relationship yeah he used to kind of rub it in people's faces how successful it was and hey you guys have been hating on me because you can't get it and i'm a better man all these sort of nonsense things he's gonna know people are gonna be you know lining up to basically laugh in his face so this must be a really bad time <laughs> to be destiny right now it continues Earlier today, a couple of screenshots were shared by on X by a user called whatever who is known for providing updates about the political streamer. The latest post is a screen grab from an alleged Discord conversation where Stephen appears to be talking about breaking things off with his wife Melina. So here's the quote, right? Here's a screenshot from a from a a Discord server, I guess. This is Destiny talking. He says i'll have a small convo when i'm back about things i'm go i'm not gonna nuke melina or anything but the last two months and two weeks have been massive mindfuck for me watching her become obsessed with a toxic abusive guy when i visited in sweden last he gave mel an ultimatum to divorce me and then threatened to kill himself when she didn't do it among 20 other abusive relationship manipulative things she's done and endlessly makes excuses for him so i'm out Anyway, have fun with with movies for three days. Good luck to see you on the 9th or the 10th. So she went to Sweden, back to her home country, and ended up falling in love with some dude who, according to Destiny, is abusive. And now that guy gave her ultimatum, uh, divorce Destiny and be with me or nothing. And I guess she divorced Destiny. And now Destiny's having to pick up the pieces, which is fucking crazy. Especially when you consider that, if I'm not mistaken, I saw something, someone said something like, um, she helped her, he helped her get a green card and shit. And I guess just in terms of what it does show for you in terms of polyamor polyamorous relationships, it's not really about money and shit, right? Because he's quite successful, very successful anyway, right? You'd imagine he's pretty much loaded. So her going for a quote-unquote regular dude over him is again more so an illustration of just how dangerous open relationships are when both of you aren't on the same page right because you'd imagine every time she meets every time she's going out to meet somebody to date them whatever it may be or even for a sneaky link maybe in the back of her mind she's secretly hoping for an excuse to get out of the current relationship because she's not really happy in it or maybe she's looking with her open with her third eye for another person to bring into a relationship because that's also possible right some people have polyamory relationships where no or i guess polyamory and, and, and open is different because polyamory you have a relationship with multiple people open relationship you know you just maybe fuck different people but maybe if you want to bring more people into your relationship you have to both be on the same sort of level and what does happen like what and i imagine what would happen i remember seeing i think it's aubrey marcus right um the podcast i remember aubrey marcus talking about it. i remember that's the first time i kind of saw it aubrey marcus is something like 
I think his wife ended up, or his ex-wife ended up, just falling in love with the person they brought into their relationship. So they had a, they had a polyamorous relationship where they invited other people in. They might fuck people here randomly, whatever. But this one guy, she just fell for, and it kind of what it was, what it was. And he said that was a real gut punch. Remember Aubrey Monk was talking about that was a real ego denter. I took a lot of work, a lot of kind of self work inventory to kind of fix and get right. And I can only imagine. I really couldn't only imagine. Like that's something that I know for sure I could never really do. Probably not because I'm jealous or anything, just because of the of the possibility of that person that you end up falling for leaving you for somebody else that you willingly both agree to join you do you know what I mean that's the one that would kind of hurt that's the thing that would really hurt the most about it so like seeing this player for this guy in real time is fucking wild he said destiny says yeah josh yeah me discovering boundaries was the death nail in this relationship um this proves every point i've ever made girls can leave you for jobless manipulative losers if they if they just play their card right again i don't think this is right i don't think this is fair just because he's like just like you have to kind of look at yourself in the mirror too the fact that she left you for a jobless dude probably says more about you than him too right the fact that you fell in love with a girl that could leave you for a jobless dude is probably a bad a, a bad representation or bad you know um, view on you also i just feel like people are able to fall in love with multiple people along their lifetime and sometimes you find your person sometimes you don't find your person but i just feel like you are needlessly opening yourself up to heartbreak by willingly inviting people into your relationship to have relationships with apart from the person that you're going to be with the one person do you know what i mean it's just a bit mad so and also there's always that common trope in it of the jobless guy just being a little bit more um in tune with his man parts <laughs> right <laughs> because that's all he has right the jobless dude only has his sense of humor his ability to lay it down to kind of go for him so he's gonna make sure that that shit is correct and then when he lays it down there's no surprise that he absolutely knocks the fucking hair back off of most women so jobless dudes are very very dangerous like the last thing you can do that the, 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 that's probably why if you're if you're like with your wife or girlfriend you should probably be very careful not to let them go and order drinks by themselves at the bar if you go out together. Maybe go and get the drinks for them, right? Because those bartenders, those bar backs that don't really have much going for them, you know, they're working cash in hand jobs. They're fucking, you know, rubbing pennies together. They have an ability to just, they have um, survival instincts, right? They know how to find a bed. They know how to find a woman with a, with a wallet. Like they have good instincts. So you have to keep your eyes open for those motherfuckers i swear to god keep it fucking open in the discord messages destiny purportedly claims that his partner was recently become obsessed with him blah 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 um the screenshots further show destiny and obviously most people some people are talking about it on the social media feed also about relationships now i've said it before i think i've said it before on the stream i watched a interview on playful magazine right that amazing like berlin-based techno magazine and there was an older couple that was speaking about how they, you know, make their open relationship work. And the one thing that I noticed quite soon, quite quickly after watching that video, that interview, was that they were older. They were a bit more mature. They had both been in, I think, failed marriages. So they, I think, were the perfect candidates or people that I think could make a polyamorous or open relationship work. I really do think those are the only two, those are the type of people that I think would really make it work. I think when you're young, especially somebody that doesn't have any experience with women or whatever, it's just very difficult to make that shit work. But I think when you're older and you've seen and been through things, you know what you like, you know what you don't like. And you're also maybe a little bit more emotionally mature, you know? You're only emotion. You have some emotional maturity. You you have a bit of self assuredness. You're not maybe you know looking to find yourself or find value in yourself only because of the person you're in a relationship with. All these little weird things that you probably only do subconsciously because you're young and you're not you know you're not all there. I think you don't really do them when you're older. So it doesn't really open you up to those downfalls or pitfalls that would make it end if you're a bit older. So I think maybe if you're older, it can kind of work. But I also think it's a very niche thing. It is. It is a subculture or a very kind of, you know, small community of people for a reason because not everybody can do it. You're better off just trying to make a regular relationship work than trying to make the whole polyamory open relationship work because most likely, the, the, you know, the, the likelihood of that succeeding are not really good. Not really good in the slightest, but let me see what you guys are saying here in the chat about it. Um, funny how all these dudes have are falling out right now. Um, him, Ethan, Hassan, etc. Yeah, um, I think it's Cloud K20. I think that's not really 
they're all falling out in different ways though isn't it i think that's just a a kind of maybe an illustration of the what success can do to you if you let it right i don't think they're all falling out of favor for the same reasons but i think it is just a, an issue of success right definitely it's a success thing maybe get into your head a little bit Asar says destiny is built like a fifth grader talking about his sex machine exactly that's the thing that always just struck me again when i initially first destiny he had that kind of blue dyed thing on the top of his hair and just he's the way he spoke and the way he carried himself i just initially thought he was gay nothing wrong with that whatsoever but that's the first thing i thought about but then if you don't think he's gay the first thing you think about is that okay this guy hasn't fucked too much he hasn't had he hasn't probably had a lot of relationships has probably had a lot of girlfriends or whatever situationships whatever it just seems strange for somebody with that little experience in women to go down that route especially with somebody that clearly has a lot of experience that's what i would say but you know what do i know um she's way too hot for him anyway i don't really believe that's a thing when it comes to men brandon that's my un unpopular opinion i don't think there's a, there, there's a thing in men to have a woman that's just too hot for you it's not a thing especially if you have money and status and shit and fame you can bag whoever you want and they will stay with you because of the money fame and stuff and then suddenly as um as future once says as a great philosopher future once says um if you have money you're you're her type and I think that's true. If you have money, you're her type for sure. So I think there's some women out there's some men out there, some women out there that will definitely see money and power and status as a form of as a as a different type of attractiveness. So I don't think there's such a thing as a woman being too attractive for a guy, in my personal opinion. But hey, what do I know? Especially if you go to some of the Balkan countries as well. You go to parts of Eastern Europe, Central Europe as well, you see some people relationship wise, you'd be like, what the fuck? It's like people value different things in it. Um, depending what society you live in. Um, Fashion Roadman says, Destiny tried to force someone, force something that wasn't for him just to just to take a moral high ground. Shame, really. Exactly. No, that's true. Exactly. That's the thing that's really odd, though. He's like, he should have, for somebody that's very, that's the thing about people, these guys, right? They talk so much about other people, right? They talk so much about other people, have all these opinions about other people's relationships, but then they're not as objective, rational, clear-minded, or insightful about their own. Because he should have seen this from a mile away. The fact that he wasn't able to see how this would play out is more a poor reflection on him as a person and maybe his, you know, his comprehension levels and shit um, or his deduction levels or whatever it may be. Um, what are you going to say? Can you stop pretending you're a better man uh, because I let other... Can we... Yeah, exactly. Can you stop pretending you're a better man because I let other dudes fuck your girl, LMAO? I don't think there's anybody out there that think... Do you... I'm not sure that's true as sad as these. I don't think there's any guy or person out there who thinks guys who let their girls get fucked by other men think they're better. I don't think that's the case. Do you, do you think those guys have superiority complexes? As in they're like more what? Woke. As in they're more like um, fucking, um, what's that word called? As if, as if they're more progressive or something. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. It's just a lifestyle choice. I don't think they think they're better than people that have what, what, uh, relationship just with one person i don't think that's the thing if that is the thing that's insane if you think you're better than somebody because you let your girl or your guy go and fuck randoms that is a wild way to look at the world really and truly to be honest um but hey what can we do um destiny's wife is hot destiny lets his girl go home and she got gorilla fucked jobless dudes must have eight inches exactly brandon pick up uche wagwan jobless dudes fucking for survival he needs somewhere to sleep exactly that you know that 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 survival pounding is another level. Um, they bring their friend gang over, broke dudes, duh, duh, duh. ain't no such thing as an ugly billionaire, I'm cute, exactly, fresh road about, exactly, that's the quote, that's another one too, exactly, that's the one, that is the one, and to be honest, I've never had a problem with that, I'm one of those people, I've, I don't have an issue with people who marry because of, or relationships with people, just through pure convenience, or self-serving relationships, right, where the, the, the guy maybe gets to have a fucking trophy wife, and then the woman gets to have like a very comfortable lifestyle, like AKA the soft life. I don't have an issue with it whatsoever. I feel like if you're both willing, if you're both understanding and honest with each other about what each other wants, I think those relationships and marriages can usually last far longer than people that, you know, have this fanciful idea, Disney idea of love. Like, you're like, hey, I'm here because you have money. You can provide for a comfortable life for me. You can look after me and my family. And I'll give up the pun whenever you need, right? And then the guy's like, yep, I'm with you because you're a certain size. You got these big old boobies. You got these fat old dug lips. You got this fucking wagon back off. You keep that stuff in trim and I'll give you as many hermits as you want. Okay, agree? Kiss, kiss. Let's keep it going. 
There's nothing wrong with that, really. I don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever. Those mutually beneficial relationships are probably probably the best, to be honest. If you think about it, really, because they are super honest, incredibly honest. Um, no, but um, Destiny's a dweeb, autistic dude to be hitting them angles in the sheets. <laughs> Uche's got too much experience in this sort of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> too much experience. Autistic dudes hitting them angles. <laughs> They'd be approaching it from an angle you never even knew you existed. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> not even like in pleasure, you're just surprised. Like, oh. <laughs> I do swear this guy's knocking my back off. Um, having Sugar Mama's young man's part of the game. Da, da, da. Yeah, but yeah. What can you do? Um, Destiny, hold your head up, brother. Hold your fucking head up. 